This is some software that I wrote to try to translate eye movement into cursor movement. So I'm just going to run it right now just to demonstrate uh, here. I'm going to put my cursor in the top right of the screen. And every so often I'm going to have to manually move the cursor back to the top right of the screen because uh, the, the video of the eye tends to the left for some reason. I'm not sure why. Anyway, so I'm going to run it right now. And as you can see, um, there's uh, so this is the cursor being completely controlled by the eye right now and the software. Uh, so as you can see, the cursor is mostly moving with the eye, but there is some noise. Uh, this could probably be fixed with a more stabilization. Um, but the way I implemented this is I took the sparse optical flow of the video, and then after that I averaged all the vectors into a single vector that would that would give the movement of the cursor, or the movement of the eye, and then to be translated into the cursor. However, I noticed that a lot of these very small sparse optical flow vectors were trivial, like the ones on the nose and the ones on the cheek. And a lot of them were uh, errors, like the massive errors you see popping up. So what I did is I uh, created a filter to filter out the non-trivial, or filter out the trivial optical flow vectors with the important ones on the eye. And I'm going to bring the cursor back up to the right of the screen. Anyway, as you can see, it's working pretty well, except for a little bit of noise. And I think that this could be improved with uh, stabilization and maybe better filters. So hopefully I can get this working a little better. Thank you. Uh, how do I get out of here? Yeah. <laughs>